Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. After a heavy topic like the foundations of thought and logic, which we covered last season, I thought we'd take a break and move into something relying a bit less on the logic end of things and a bit more on the research end, the interpretation of scripture. Sometimes the Catholic Church is criticized for being too restrictive on this score and not allowing individual Catholics to interpret the scripture. Some people are even under the impression that the Catholic Church has official accepted interpretations for every part of the Bible, but no, that's a misconception. The Bible contains 35,527 verses, and as you might imagine, writing a thorough and official companion to each and every one of those would be a monumental undertaking. No person or group of people could manage it in a lifetime, even if they did have the perfect guidance of the Holy Spirit, and even if the verses of the Bible could be interpreted in only a single correct way. Frequently, Bible verses mean multiple different things. For example, a verse about flesh might be referring to the human body, or to the human tendency to sin, or both and more things besides. This makes it even more impossible to unpack everything in the scriptures in an official way. So in that case, how are we supposed to interpret the scriptures? Well, firstly, it's always possible that an interpretation that we come up with might be wrong. For this reason, it's important to interpret the scriptures with humility, always willing to re-examine our conclusions in case we got them wrong. Second, while the church doesn't have a comprehensive guide to scripture interpretation, certain interpretations have been shown to be wrong in the past and have been declared to be heresies. I may get the chance to do some videos on a few of them soon, but for now, suffice to say that Catholics do have a pretty large amount of leeway in interpreting the scriptures. Still, there are a few general guidelines that we should keep in mind while doing so. To start with, we should begin by supposing that the various parts of scripture can be reconciled with one another. While many people claim to have found inconsistencies and contradictions within the Bible, more often it's a result of having read certain verses at face value in isolation from each other and without looking at the various ways of reconciling them. The goal of scripture interpretation is to learn the truth about what the verses mean, not to antagonistically invent contradictions to try to deconstruct the Bible. As we mentioned before, we also shouldn't interpret scripture in a heretical way, assuming that it says things contrary to the doctrines of the Catholic Church. There's always some good reason why heretical interpretations were rejected. It's just a matter of doing the research and finding out what that reason was. Finally, just as we should look for ways to reconcile the various verses of the Bible, so we should also try to interpret scripture in a way that's consistent with the rest of the faith. After all, truth doesn't contradict truth, and finding the truth is ultimately what all of this is about. Next time, are there any verses that the church does have official interpretations of? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.